All right, everybody, more tier list videos. Yo, listen, we are going to attempt the impossible with this video. We can judge these guys based off their statistics, based off their team performance, based off what, how we think they impact the game, which is just basically be like impact plays, playmaking ability, uh, it just ge like genuine smarts on the map and things like that. So like we can judge based on that. Um, it's just very difficult when you get into the nitty gritty of like a guy noticing stuff in practice, helping other players tendencies, things like that. And that's where it's like hard. It's like, how, what do you value more, right? As a person who's competed at a high level, it's like there were things I valued in players over kills uh, a lot uh, at times, right? So communication, all those things play a factor. And I say this to say that everybody on this list is extremely talented. I have the utmost respect for all these competitors. Um, and they all deserve to be on a pro team and play at a high level. So make no mistake, no disrespect uh, to any of these guys based on where they I put them. It's just my opinion. Like I said, these videos all have to be started with the in my opinion. Anyways, enough of the disclaimer and the small text. Let's get right into the video, shall we? Let's just go left to right. Atlanta phase. Celium obviously going to be in the S tier matter. Uh, let's go. Yeah. All right. So, I mean, Celium's numero uno. So, like, the guy's going there. Uh, BZ's S tier. I mean, there's no discussion like the guy the guy is s tier um no i i no i i'm not like people who have been trying to like put guys like simp in like a tier or like high b things like that like hell no it is simp like guys come on this guy is super smart he is the leader of this team with slasher um I mean, really, it's simp. Like, the guy's just a genius, bro. Go into this guy's stream when he does occasionally, rarely stream. Listen to his comms. Like, he is unreal, generational. Guy's a monster. He's going in S tier. Slasher, uh, high end B. I feel like Slasher, or some people might look at this as disrespect. I think Slasher brings a ton to a team. High B is a very good place to be as a competitor. Uh, he does bring a ton to a team. And I feel like. He's just a really solid place to put him uh, as opposed to some of these other like freaks of talent that we have on this list. Um, obviously, I said I'm going to weigh that into it as well, like what you bring to a team. Uh, but I'm not on the team, right? I just I, I assume by knowing Austin uh, and his history in COD that he's bringing a lot to a team. So I could probably put him low end A, but we might we might move. And let's just keep it going for now. Uh, Methods, who is retired now. Uh, I guess we don't even have to place him here. Uh, Nero, I think Nero is a very good player. Uh, I'm going to put him into B as well. I think he's an impact player. He makes plays. He's a little bit prone to the bad game, a little bit inconsistent, uh, but it's a growing Boston Breach roster. Awakening is an A tier player, 100%. Possibly S tier. We might move him around. We have a lot of players to get through. Uh, we'll go and we'll look at stats later, but let's keep it going. Vivid, another B tier player. Vivid's pretty solid. Uh, Brack. I'm gonna sauce him into the B, into the B. Uh, Havoc, uh, actually, Brack is gonna go down to C. Havoc's a B, -t B tier player. He might be A. We'll keep it going though. Uh, Major Maniac right now is performing D tier. Vickle, he's really good at search. I'll put him in S tier. Arstes is a B tier player with, uh, with Austin. Assault going in C. This is all my opinion, guys. All right, listen. I know this is gonna get spicy here. Uh, exceed. Uh, I think exceeds pretty solid. I'm gonna put him in C for now, though. I, th I like the way Joe Deceives plays. Uh, I think he's a playmaker on the map. Uh, I think he's really got a lot of. He's got a lot of talent, uh, and he's really good at search and destroy. So I'm putting him in B actually, as it stands. Um, Draza. Draza's a beast, bro. I think this kid is a monster, dude. Like the some of the stuff I see him do is next level. A tier. Uh Octane had some really big maps and he has unbelievable comps. I'm actually putting Octane as the S tier, guys. Um I don't think this guy gets the respect that he deserves, honestly. I think he's super good. Um Kenny obviously is reigning MVP. The guy's unbelievable. No, there's no way. He's A tier. I can't put him below A, bro. I just can't. I just simply can't. Uh, Asim has been super frying. I feel like if London had a little bit more success, I'd put him A tier. Um, and this is my boy. I think he's a beast. I just feel like, you know, London's weighing him down a little bit. 
he's been shining though man so b for him uh paul x a really good talent um let's see let me look at the rest of people in these categories though like i feel like a player like asim's hard to find in like the role that he plays like in doing what he does i'm actually gonna put him higher i'm gonna put him in a dude um i might move him though we'll see nasty he hasn't been playing great at all uh he's got to go down here uh trey zero not playing not on the team anymore don't have to play some clay uh clay's been balling bro clay has been balling in this game uh even in the series they lost there like clay that guy was going crazy he just need a little bit of help on the map uh donnie uh you know he's getting some kills he's slaying a bit he's not really an excellent search player uh he's really like that's the only game that they were particularly winning he hasn't been dominating a respawn donnie has to get better at this game um I feel like years of like bad teams have given him bad tendencies. I feel like he's drawn, he's drawn the short stick. Uh, he's gotten super screwed over and unfortunate in a lot of situations, but now like he has like sort of a, a place to build upon with this roster and he has a really good teammate in clay. So Don has to improve. And uh, I think he knows that. So we'll see. I think we're gonna see all-star Don come back out sometime this season. Uh, TJ, really good search player, makes a lot of great plays. Um, very prone to the bad game. Um, I feel like if somebody's dominant at search though, like they can't be D. Like TJ just has to be here. Uh, but that's where it gets tough because I think Don is like much better in Tej. But Tej is much better in Don S and D, so kind of evens out. Uh, Afro is an eight tier player. The guy's a monster. He's been absolutely frying. Uh, Attach does what he's do. Honestly though, let me look at Attach's stats, bro. But they they have improved a lot. So let me, uh, where's attached in here? Let me look at some of his, he's really hard to play. He's got 1.04. So he's actually been performing really well with the AR. He is in terms of engagement and hard point. Whoa, where did he go? Is he even on here? What the hell? Yeah, middle of the pack. He's performing there with AR. I mean, obviously it's going to be a little bit tough. Uh, attach here. Wow, Afro's number one. SD attaches. Pretty low in S and D KD. Wait, 0.87 control damage is what I like to look at. Attach sit in middle of the pack. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's attached. He's solid. He's getting his kills. You know what he brings to a team? A level of like composure. You know he's taking practice really serious. And the stats aren't like standing out like crazy. I feel like Afro and um and Bance have really taken over in this team. So Attach is going to sit C for now. Uh, Bance is... Bance is a B tier player. Um, he's These aren't in order in the, in the tiers. Um, he's been going crazy. Uh, if I just took Major 2, that land in general, he would be an A. But Afro's been performing a little bit better than him. And Afro's a little bit more talented. Um, so yeah, he's going there. Cami, I think C is a good spot for Cami as well. Uh, Cami could literally be S tier player, by the way. Uh, not the greatest year so far for him figuring out modern warfare 2 and you know i feel like a lot of times it's been him like underperforming he's not been like statistically he hasn't been that great either like low engagements on the team uh low kd so he has a and he plays like a, a role where he should be slaying so he needs to step it up i just s tier uh the kid's a, a beast bro skies is let me look at skies stats because i would have put him a tier because I feel like, yeah, Skies is a monster, bro. And they, they won the first major. <sighs> mm. Let me see who else are my S tier players, honestly. Hold on. Let me go ahead and just grab Dashy, put him in the S tier right away. He's literally him. Uh, Shotzi's going to go in the A tier. Uh, questionable decisions made out of him. I think we've all seen the clips by now. It's the only thing holding him back from S tier. Great search player, though. Uh, Hook a little bit frantic he definitely has a lot of improvement to go um illy i think illy's been uh solid he's been prone to the bad game in hard point but his sniper's been on point his impact is felt in search i'm putting him in b uh where's the s tier guys sib and pred are both s tier players now i know their team's been struggling in search and destroy um and a lot they are definitely in part uh due to the reason that they're struggling but these guys are just unbelievable bro like series takeover type players they are s tier call of duty players without question kleenex is an s tier player his impact uh to the game what he's able to do on the map i don't need to look at no damn stats 
to know where to place Kleenex. You can't get players like that in your team. They're the hardest role to find in Call of Duty is a guy that does what Kleenex does. Accuracy, I'm gonna put him in. We know what accuracy brings to a team. I feel like he could be in B. Um, he's had some pretty tough performances though. And their search has been, if their search was better, it actually was doing what he normally does in search. He might actually is usually an amazing search player. Um, he would be in B for me, but for now, just given how their team's performing, he's got to go into C. Mac as well. I feel like Mac has pop off uh, potential. Mac is like middle of the pack. Uh, overall KD. Max really low. Yeah. Uh, middle of the pack. Search and destroy kills per round. Max like third to last in the league. Oh man, Mac is not playing good, man. I think I'd be biased if I put him higher. I do really like Mac as a player, but he's got to go there. Scrappy, great player. Uh, I'm putting him in A tier. The kid's a beast. By the eye test, you can see he's got what it takes. Uh, brings a lot to a team. Uh, I'm honestly going to put the rest of the Ultra Boys all in A tier. Um, I like what they all bring to a squad. I feel like... Wait, where's Ak Oh, dude, actually's playing really bad. I gotta move him down, dude. Just like if 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 it's if the stats are looking like that, like you kind of have to. I just know he brings a lot to the squad, so I wanted to put him in, in C, but he's gonna be in D for now. Um, Scraps had some decent performances, some pretty solid maps. We play some people and see what I think. He's gonna go into A. Skies is gonna go into. Ooh, I think Skies. And there's a lot of A tier players, man. But hey kismet to be and the reason being i feel like depending on the team that kismet's on is gonna change the way he plays the game i feel like he plays a very hard role he is a playmaker he's extremely good at it but he needs certain players around him he needs a slayer like hydra with him or he would look pretty ineffective or he'd be pretty ineffective not to take anything away from him because he's very good and B is a very good place to be. But there are a couple players I think that could do what Kismet does. Maybe not to the exact level. So he's a high tier B player. I'm actually going to move Priesta down as well to be high tier B player as well. Dave Patty is going into D. These guys aren't playing. And Scraps is going into D as well. All right, guys, this is my list. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. I know I'm going to get roasted for this. It is what it is. Uh, but this is my opinion. Uh, obviously done off the cuff. Uh, and yeah, I mean, otherwise, this would be a 24 hour long straight discussion uh, about where to place all these guys. Uh, but I feel like I did a pretty decent job. Honestly, that's just really hard. You'd probably need like four different four more categories in order to like super accurately do it. Uh, but shout out to who made this list. I uh, appreciate you um, or who made this uh chart to be able to do this i hope you guys enjoyed uh this video and to any players watching this much love you guys are all disgusting uh and everybody on this list is the beast so we'll see you guys uh here in a couple of days for stage number three hey